<coughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm from Tensor King Victoria Government School Students Time and Tech, and with my dear supervisor, Mr. Law. Today, our topic is introduction and application of fuzzy homotopy and fuzzy deformation retraction. So let's get started. <coughs> what is our aim and goal of our, this project? Is to we find that there are some objects having a uncertainty membership and it changes continuously over time. So in order in order to deal and describe this situation and this condition, we we want to invent a or create a tool called fuzzy homotopy. So why how does this fuzzy homotopy deal with this specific object, or put it in other way, what properties does this fuzzy homotopy have to deal with these objects? So first, we say something about fuzzy. Fuzzy set is a set spe specific to deal with objects with uncertainty membership. It is a set containing elements having some degree of membership. So what does it mean by degree of membership? We know sometimes from classical set, one in this example surely belongs to this set. But however, sometimes we can't say so surely, so certainly, this one is belong to this set. So we introduce a fuzzy set, and by some grade of membership, for example, we assign the grade of membership zero says to the element one. With this, we say that maybe probably the one probably belongs to this set, but not 100% sure. With some concrete example, for, for example, this one, we see from this is Hong Kong, and across the Victoria Harbor, we have some smoke here. But in this, this smoke may not come from Hong Kong and may be blown from the wing of mainland China. So how does this smoke classify into Hong Kong or mainland China? We may use the first C, first C set to deal with it. Another example is this. How to define the coast line in GIS? Which you see the sea level, this may rise in high tide and, and drop in low tide. So with, however, with GIS, you have to really define a boundary in this coastline. So with, again, with first C set, we may probably define different degree of membership in different positions in order to derive a strict boundary. So it is a tool to deal with membership in uncertainty. And another homotopy, how does it do so? Actually, it deals with a object continuously changing over time. It is a deformation between two curves, two functions. And one famous example is the homotopy <coughs> of a coffee cup into a donut. And this homotopy can make us know more about the process of the changing and also the relations between donut and the coffee cup. However, with these two very different concepts, fuzzy and homotopy, how can we combine them together to produce a meaningful tool? This is my question, my main question. And actually, you see homotopy different from fuzzy in the sense that it involves topological space. So in order to merge them together, you have to first introduce or create <coughs> a fuzzy topological space first, and so that you can put them, these two ideas in the same level. Then through some um, terminology, we create this fuzzy homotopy, but does it really have some real applications? If not, it is quite useless. So in the following, I will present one important example to um, illustrate my point that this fuzzy homotopy actually has some real applications in our daily work. That is medical diagnosis. Well, in this case, we, a, a person, patient is suffering a kind of disease and receiving some medical treatment. And we want to evaluate this medical treatment by investigating some change 
of status of cells over, over time. And this actually involves homotopy. We take out 10 cells with inside a set SC, and in different time, we measure, we classify them into different types of cells, maybe dead cells and stable cells. We simply we take it in this way with some one, two, three, four here. And actually, from <coughs> in the time of light AM, we can plot a curve. And in other time, maybe as long, we can plot another curve. And this generates a free <coughs> curve with actually a homotopy between them. <coughs> with this homotopy, we can know the process of changing. So, and also, we probably know how well the medical treatment is. For example, um, four is the heavy cell, but actually, the yellow line indicates the later time. You see that the yellow line actually does not fall on four this heavy cell so much. So maybe this medical treatment is not very good, I think. However, with this homotopy, does it enough to say something about the medical treatment? <coughs> we, we only know the process. And actually, we can't say the medical treatment is <coughs> We don't know the detail of the medical treatment on how does it influence the cells. So I here introduce a fuzzy concept that is introduce a degree of membership into each cell. Maybe C1, it is the maybe C1 assign 0 0.6. Then the degree of this 0 0.6 degree of membership may mean the predicted stability of cell. That means with 0 0.6, it may very in a um, medium level that over time it will gently change into another cell and gently change into another. But with maybe one this the membership, the group membership be one, it may completely stay in the position of the cell without changing its status. By doing so we can investigate whether this predicted stability match with the overall data we get. Since the overall data we get, maybe C1 actually fluctuates a lot. But we say the predicted stability only C1.1. So we can actually adjust by looking at the data to improve our stability. With this improved stability, we can actually know better the dynamics of the cells so that you, you know what effects do the medical treatment have on this, these cells. <coughs> Another important application is maybe you can predict whether the cancer cell will invade on other cells. For example, cancer cell represents by two. Then when the curves change, if much points fall on this level two, that means many cancer cells, the, this large number of cancer cells may not be coped with the medical treatment we can we introduce. So it may expand and infect other cells. So <coughs> we can actually do so by uh, investigate in this way through introducing fuzzy and homotopy. Well, well when saying cancer, it is worthwhile to say that an uh, infection of cancer cells on other cells is actually a fuzzy deformation rejection of of the set of the set containing the cells. Since the um, set other cells may be changed to the cancer cells, so that the actually geometrically it is a retraction. So with this example, in conclusion, I have to show that the first C and homotopy actually can merge together to form two at least it is first homotopy and through daily examples we can, and applications, we show that it is actually useful in daily science. It, there are objects to be dealt with this fuzzy homotopy. For example, medical diagnosis. Another thing is about homotopy, which is in, which involves a geometrical meaning, actually. So in our paper, a, I show that actually a Third test of a fuzzy topological cone is actually a fuzzy deformation rejection of this cone. And a more important point is that 
since this is success, actually maybe the algebraic topology can be intro can be further deferred by introducing this fuzzy concept. Okay, yes, yeah. that's all. Thank you.